What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's been a while. This is a portfolio update video. We are slightly behind. I've been quite busy in work this week. I'm gonna do something slightly different with this week's video. So if it's something you enjoy, chuck it in the comments below that you rather this format. Previous formats, I've basically screen recorded and spoke in the background this video, I'm basically gonna screen record my phone. Screen record? What the hell is that? Screen record my phone and then chuck it on either the side of me on here. So you can see me as well as uh, my portfolio. So just let me know in the comments if you prefer the old style or this style. But let's get into this video. So here we are, we are currently in trading two and two app. Um, so as you can see here, my portfolio is now at 11,754 pounds. We are down 0.25%, which is a total of 29 pounds and 88 pence. You see the graph still going up, down 0.25 is not too bad. That's pretty decent, I'd say. It's been a lot lower in the past. Um, so if you have watched these videos before, then you know why I have so many stocks. But if you're new, I have uh, invested into the almost daily dividends pie, which you can see here. I've got just shy of £2,000 in the almost dividends pie. That holds 50 uh, stocks, so that's why the list of, put of investments is so big. But this video, we're just going to touch on the individual shares. So if we look at my pies, where I've got um, auto invest turned on, I've got ultra, which is currently at £1,629. That's up 2.26%, which is £36. That's set up quite nicely at the moment. Aviva, I only just started investing into this one because um, I also have legal in general, so I've just started chucking money into Avira as well. That's sat at £182. That's up 2%. Coca-Cola is down 3%. I've got £230 in that. Um, that is the FTSE All World High Dividend Yield, um, where I have £3,812. That's currently up 1.76%, which is a nice £66 profit at the moment. Um, I'm pumping a lot of money into that as well. The Invest One Pound Day Challenge, um, that is a separate video and challenge I'm running. So uh, if you want to do, do that, make sure you're subscribed and you'll see more in depth with that challenge. But that's currently up 2% and I've invested so far 97 pounds into that. So that's 97 days. But I'll be doing that for a year and then doing a basically a end of year video. Uh, Microsoft, that is a nice one. That's currently up 15%, which is amazing. Got 714 pounds currently sat in there. And then Reality Income, another one I'm pumping money into because it's currently down, uh, currently down 7.71%. And I've got 2,362 pounds sat in that. Um, so that's pretty much my main bulk of individual stocks I've invested into. There is other small ones which we'll go into now. Um, so all these, all the ones which are pretty much like 30 to 40 pounds, that's pretty much all in the almost daily dividend pie um, investment portfolio. Ultra, we've touched on that. 45 shares of that. Apple, that's looking pretty juicy. That's currently up 4%. AT&T, 
I've sh sold my shares of that. I had, can't remember how much I had in that, but I sold that and invested it into something else. I can't remember what, but I sold my shares in that. Avira, as you can see, I've only just invested into that, but currently got 46 shares of Avira. Bank of America, when all the banks or that the bank in America collapsed, um, I invested into Bank of America, which is doing pretty healthy at the moment. I got four shares, Bank of America. BHP Group, that's another small one I've invested into. 3% uh, of free shares in that. Um, invested into basically the QR, QYLD, a nice little ETF. Um, in that, so I've invested £25 currently into that. Legal in general, as you can see there, that's another one, £300 in there, that's down 7%. Currently hold 141 shares of that. Um, I think that is it for my individuals, individual shares, really. So let's go into my dividends and have a look at that oh we'll look at interests first so trading two and two currently pay out interest so the money you hold in your uh uninvested cash so your free cash in your uh account they pay a interest on that so it's currently sat at two percent for people in the uk as you can see there, that's the daily interest I earn on my uninvested cash at the moment. And when it equals one pence, it gets paid into your account. As you see at the top, last month I earned 21 pence interest. And all time I've earned a total of 25 pence. So it's just a good, good, a good way of doing it is I put the money, I'm, so every week I invest money. Uh, I basically just put my money in Friday and then, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday I'm earning interest and then Monday I invest that money and then Friday input money again so I basically earn money every couple of like every Friday, Saturday, Sunday Sunday I earn interest really on my money I'm going to invest on Monday mornings um, history and dividends so as you can see here, total dividends I've earned so far since opening trading two and two is 111 pounds. So just crossed that 100 pound mark. I started this the end of the year, the same time I started this channel and documenting my investing journey. So um, we need to go back to August because that's what this update is about. So all these payments are pretty much from the almost daily dividends pie, uh, but we will look at my main ones. So as you see there, AT&T, I got paid a dividend before I sold it. So I earned 36 pence from AT&T. All these are the almost daily dividends pie. So you can see you get a lot of money from the almost daily dividends pie, especially as you start getting more money in there. Some companies are paying me 30 pence. Um, pretty decent, really. So it does add up. And then that's where you see that snowball effect slowly building over time. Uh, Main Street Capital, 48 pence. That was automatically reinvested. Uh, Abbey, 18 pence. Again, that was... Oh, I was invested pretty much straight back into it. Reality income, the number one monthly paying dividend. That's an individual stock of mine. Like I said, I showed you in the pies. That is on auto invest. So that five pounds, 26 pence automatically went straight back into it and bought more shares for me. Uh, Apple, four pence. British American Tobacco, 84 pence. Uh, 84, 54 pence. All these are almost daily dividends pies. Almost daily dividends, almost daily dividend. 
So yeah, the only payment I got last month in August was from Main Street Capital and uh, Reality Income. Those are the two individual shares I earned money from in August. The rest was the almost daily dividend pie payments. But September is the big one. That's when I earn a lot of money. I think I'm due to earn around that £50 mark this month. So fingers crossed that happens. And next month will be the first time I hit uh, £50 for monthly dividends. So make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned for that video and see if I do hit that goal of £50. But I think that's pretty much it for this week's video. Like I said, not much happened this month in the portfolio. Um, like I said, only earned money from reality income, £5. But like I said, next month is the big one where I earn majority of my my dividends so September and then the next one then will be the end of the year December and that will be my first full year of dividends I have a spreadsheet as well which I will show you at the end of the year show you how much money I've earned over the year um, and predicting going into next year what it's going to look like and hopefully we can see that snowballing effect happening but that's it for this video like I said, hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button. I want to hit the 1,000 subscriber mark as soon as possible or by the end of the year. If you did like this format of the screen next to me and not just me talking over a screen record where you can't see me, then again, chuck that in the comments below. And then thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.